Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about acceleration, velocity, and speed. And specifically, I'm going to talk about how to tell if it's positive or negative. Um, so first, let's just talk about what acceleration and velocity are. Um, so acceleration, we have a few different equations that we can use when we're looking at acceleration. Um, but if we look at this uh, equation all the way on the right, that's change in velocity over change in time. So acceleration essentially is the change in velocity with respect to time. So the rate of change in velocity. Um, angular velocity is the rate of angular displacement. So if angular displacement is happening, how fast is that happening? And linear velocity is the change in position or the rate of linear displacement. Um, so it's the change in position over the change in time. Um, so to clarify, velocity, angular and linear, both take into account speed, so how fast is the movement happening, but also it specifies position uh, because it's the rate of linear displacement or angular displacement. So it's specifying the direction of the movement or the direction of the, the change in position um, and how fast is that changing. So to have a change in velocity, it means we have a change in speed or a change in direction or both. And if there is a change in velocity, then that means acceleration is occurring, whether that change is in the positive or negative direction, which is what I'll talk about now. Okay, so how do we tell if velocity or acceleration are positive or negative. Now, I'm sorry, my, my picture here looks a little bit blurry, um, but the, I don't know, hopefully it will still illustrate the point. Um, so if an object is moving in the positive direction, it has positive velocity. Now, which way is positive or negative? I will talk about that on the next slide. Um, sometimes that's contextual, so it depends just kind of on how you define which direction is positive or negative. Uh, but with joints, there is a way to tell. So there, it's not contextual, uh, but I'll talk about that in the next slide. Okay, so if the object is moving in the positive direction, that means we have positive velocity. If the object is moving in the negative direction, it has negative velocity. So even though movement is still occurring, the velocity is negative simply because of the direction of the movement. Now, if the object is moving in the positive direction and velocity is increasing, okay, so now there's a change in velocity and velocity is increasing, then there's positive acceleration. Okay, so the object is going in the positive direction and velocity is increasing, so there's positive acceleration. If the object is moving in the positive direction, so we're going in the same direction, but velocity is decreasing, so we're going slower, then there's negative acceleration. Okay, so there's still that change in velocity is acceleration either way, but if we're going in the positive direction, it's positive acceleration as velocity increases and negative acceleration as velocity decreases. Now, if we change and go the other direction, we're going in the negative direction, then that flip flops. So if we're going in the negative direction and velocity is increasing, then there's negative acceleration. So if velocity is increasing in the negative direction, then there's negative acceleration. If we're going in the negative direction and velocity is decreasing, then that is positive acceleration. Okay, so if we're going in the positive direction, and we start going faster, that's positive acceleration, and slower, that's negative acceleration. If we're going in the negative direction and we start going faster, that's negative acceleration, and if we start going slower, then it's positive acceleration. Now, how do we know if it's in the positive or negative direction? So sometimes it's contextual. So like, let's say we're analyzing somebody running sprints. Well, which direction is positive and negative depends on how you define um, your situation. So maybe if they're starting at, the, at a certain point and they're running forward on the track, that's the positive direction. 
And then if they turn around and come back, that's the negative direction. But you could do it the other way too, if you want. And sometimes it just depends logically on what makes the most sense for that context. When it comes to joint movement, so if you're assessing whether a joint is moving in the positive or negative direction, like into extension, flexion, et cetera, that we use the right hand thumb rule to determine. So the right hand thumb rule means that we use our right hand and we wrap our fingers around the imaginary axis of rotation. Okay, so let me use my shoulder, for example, because it's visible in the camera. Okay, so let's say here's my shoulder, my glenohumeral joint. And if I'm looking at add and abduction of my left glenohumeral joint, the axis of rotation is going to be this anterior posterior axis going this way. So I would wrap my fingers around that axis of rotation and I'm gonna wrap the fingers in the direction of the movement. So if I'm going from here into abduction, the movement is in this direction. So I'm gonna wrap my fingers up in that direction of movement around this axis of rotation with my thumb sticking out. Now, whichever direction your thumb is pointing tells you whether it's positive or negative. Okay, so if we're around that anterior posterior axis, pointing forward is positive, pointing backward is negative. If we're looking at the superior inferior axis, pointing up is positive, pointing down is negative. If we're looking at the medial lateral axis, pointing to your right is positive, pointing to your left is negative. Okay, so any movement in the body, you can just wrap your fingers around. So you're gonna identify the axis of rotation. You're gonna wrap your hand around that axis of rotation with your fingers curling in the direction of the rotation, right? So here is for abduction. Now, if I went the other direction, I would flip my hand this way and go adduction the other way. So for my left glenohumeral joint, and I use my right hand, abduction would be in the positive direction and adduction would be in the negative direction. Now, if I did that on my other shoulder, it's hard to do because you still have to use your right hand. So that's kind of hard to, to demonstrate that right hand on right shoulder but it would be the opposite because it's my other side, okay? So just make sure that you're not just assuming like you did it on this shoulder, it'll be the same on that shoulder. Don't make that assumption. You need to test it for yourself on every joint that you're assessing, okay? So just because the action is the same at multiple joints does not mean that they're all positive or negative because it depends on the side in some cases, like what we just saw, and it depends on how that movement occurs. So like if you take the knee and the hip, extension and flexion happen in opposite directions from one another. So even though um, both joints might be extending, they aren't necessarily both in the positive or negative direction um, because they're moving in opposite directions to achieve extension because of the, the orientation of the joints. Okay, so right hand thumb rule to determine whether a joint motion is in the positive or negative direction. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for the next video.